So in my last video, I demonstrated how you could use a generator to power a machine in an industrial craft that would require an engine. You can actually do this using high voltage stuff, and I'm going to give you two examples on how to do that. So let's say you wanted to use a nuclear reactor. Place this down, this is the actual nuclear reactor itself, and around it you can place reactor chambers, and what this will do is on the inside, when you right click on the nuclear reactor, you'll see this area. That's where you place the uranium cells and the coolant cells that give it power. As you add more of these reactor chambers to it, as you add more of them to it, it'll actually expand the area, so giving you more space to put things in. So now that we have this, pretty much, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you build it close to water, it will be cool. You do need to put coolant cells into it, and I'm going to give you some cool patterns that I know that work very efficiently in coolant. So I search cells. Okay. I click this here. We need coolant cells, and we need a couple of uranium cells. So put in one like that. And you'll hear it start to, you know, process, which can be a scary sound, but don't worry. So we're going to want to put four coolant cells around each one uranium cell. And what that'll do is that'll keep it sufficiently cool to where you won't have to go check on it. The uranium cell will actually deplete itself safely, and it will blow up. And obviously, the more uranium cells you put in there, the more power you will generate. However, the hotter it will get, so it will actually start to smoke and blow up if you don't do it correctly, so watch out. At the daytime. Okay, so come out from here. This will go into our MFSU, which is basically like the bat box, only it's for high voltage. And you'll see the electricity is starting to collect in here. So where it says out, 512EU forward slash T, the T stands for tick. A tick is one second. So this will generate 512 power per tick. Okay. So let's say we wanted to have a quarry right over here. Okay. We would come out using a glass fiber cable because that is the most efficient cable you can use to transfer electricity. There's no loss. And I'm actually stupid. Excuse me. What you're going to need is the energy link I showed you in the last video, which would be this nice thing right here. And what you're going to do with this, place it down. You're going to need wooden conductive pipe. Which be this. And then we go one wooden conductive pipe, and then one stone conductive pipe. And you see how quickly it makes itself? Well, the reason for that is that electricity is actually more efficient than combustion engines. So it is actually beneficial to you to use electricity in place of engine power on the machines. And you know, in a second or two, this will start up. And the reason I don't have any pipes or anything. So all the stuff is just going to shoot out of here like a sprinkler. So how fast it's going is based on how much electricity you put into it, which as it gets higher becomes a little bit harder. So you need to, like, the higher you go, the more electricity it requires to make it go faster. So you can actually pump in massive amounts of electricity in here, and it will go, you know, to a certain speed. So, okay. But let's say you didn't want to use a nuclear reactor. Let's say you wanted to use something else. And I cut the line here, the line here, and stop. It's pretty odd. It's a glitch. Damn you, Minecraft. Anyway, so this is going to keep generating power no matter what. This is a high voltage solar array. Okay? I'm going to place just one of these down. If you right click on it, if it's daytime, it'll collect energy. So we'll put another MFSU down right here. Hook it up with a glass fiber cable. And you can see that already this one high voltage solar ray puts out 
more energy than this nuclear reactor with four uranium cells in it. So, like I said, it's actually beneficial for you to be green in Minecraft. So, all right, I'm going to take this and link it up to our energy link. Stone conductive pipe. And you'll see the arm is glitching. And I'm not too sure why. I think we're actually popping out. There we go. So it's going a little bit faster than it was before. Not a lot, but then again, this is a small quarry. So, you know, that's pretty much it. And then afterwards, you would link this up to your chest or, you know, your diamond pipe and separate all of it, which I'll show in some future videos. But yeah, that is how you use, how you can use nuclear energy or a high voltage solar ray from the, if you have the Sfax Minecraft texture pack, it's very nice, the polygon shaped sun over there, powering your machines. And it, what'll happen is this will actually collect energy in the daytime and it can power everything at night. So, whereas if you were to hook this up directly to the quarry, you would just keep the, it would stop at nighttime. So, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed my video.